Hi everyone, in this video we are going to see how we can use mail merge to create multiple files having the uh, data in it. For example, uh, I have some data in this CSV file, you can use the Excel file also. So, you can see here some data. Uh, the first name, the last name, whether the client is being showed or not, the gender of the client, the mail and the note about the client. So this is a CSV file and uh, you can see this is a PDF form having the client details, first name, last name, the client is insured or not, the gender, the email address and the note. Now we are going to create three different files having the client data in it because there are three clients in my CSV file and you can use more if you want. So the first step is to create a text file using this CSV file or Excel file. You can use the Excel file also. So once you have the client in you once you have the client data in your Excel or CSV file, all you have to do is to uh, save the file as text file. Now go to File Save as. Use this browser option. Now you can use the uh, format from here. Save as type. Now choose uh, the text file, the text file format like this one, text tab delimited file. Now after selecting this file type, you can just put any name of the data like I am typing data1 on my text file. Now I have the data in my text file which is tab delimited. Now uh, you can see here the client data is uh, the client data is here with all the details. Now I want to create three different files because I have three different clients uh, with this form. Now for this I am going to open this file, the PDF form in which I want to put the data in it. Okay, now um, uh, after opening the file you can see here is an add-on tool. Uh, later I will tell you how you can add this add-on tool. Uh, for this we have to purchase a tool. Uh, I will provide the link in description. Now after going to this add-on tool, you can see there are two tools. The second one is mail merge. Now just click on mail merge and just click me. Now it will ask you to put the file, the text file which have the data, which is having the data. Now just select the file, click OK. Now click OK. Now it will ask you to allow. Now just click three times OK because there are three files. Now it, it says three merged files were created. OK, then click OK. Now that's it. Uh, you After closing the PDF, you can see three new files has been created. And if you open the first file, you can see here is the client data. The first name of the client, the second, the last name of the client whether the client is insured or not, the gender of the client, the email address and the notes. Now if you close this file, now if you open the second file, again you can see there is a second client name, the second client last name, whether the client is insured or not, the gender and the email address and the note about the client. Now if you open the third file, now again you can see there is a detail of the third client. Now one thing which you have to make sure is uh, the column. I mean, let's say I'm opening the opening the CSV file which I have which is have, which was having the data. You can see the column is uh, named as name blast insured gender mail to and note. This is the uh, column name of the client details. So this should is match exactly with the form field name. For example, I am going to this prepare form mode. Now you can see uh, the first name of the client having the field. Uh, the name of the field is here name. Now if you open the CSV file, you can see here is a name. The column name is name. Now again, if you go to the last name, the name of the field is last. And then you can see the name of the column B, which, which is holding the last name of the client is last. So again, if you go to notes, here is a note, field name is note, 
Now, if you go to F column, which is having the node about the client, then you can see the column name is node. So that, so this is the way you can put the field names should be matched exactly with the column name in the CSV file or Excel file, whatever you have. Now, the first step is to cre uh, create the text file using this CSV file or the Excel file. After this, you can use the tool as I showed you. Now, after this, you can get the uh, PDF having the client data. So that's it for today. And check the description for the tool if you want to purchase and want to create multiple files using the same PDF file having the different data in it.